Hi, welcome to the Foster 1992J YouTube channel. We're going back over the same Calyrex team from the last video we uh, posted. Uh, I'm going to do it for another couple matches, and we're going to see just if Calyrex is one of the best uh, restrictive Pokemon you can use in this series. So while we wait, uh, if you haven't seen the last video, go check it out in the, uh, in the uh, card up above me somewhere. And, um, nothing much has changed. I read some of the comments on the last video. Um, I don't know about Pokemon Snap anytime soon, but I could potentially get my hands on it to, uh, make some Pokemon Snap content. So if you'd like to see that, let me know in the, uh, down below. We're going to be starting against Lionfire. With a Zacian, Regieleki, Moltres, Urshifu. Okay. So, Tapu Lili is strong here again. So is Calyrex. Well, we, we want to bring Calyrex. I think we want to lead Calyrex Cotton Ball like we have been doing. And I want to bring Tapu Lili and Ditto in the back. My goal here is to set up into a position where I can copy Moltres. If I can copy Moltres, I have a good matchup against the Urshifu, the Venusaur, and the Zacian. For the most part. Good luck, Lionfire. They lead Zash and Regieleki. Jealous, it's a shiny Regieleki. So I actually think... I want to protect the Calyrex turn one. Set up... And set up Tailwind. And hope uh, Wisdom Caught sings around for another turn. I don't know if this is actually going to pan out. I would personally expect this play and attack into the Cotton Ball. Uh, reflect, which doesn't actually help them much. My team is very special, and that's going into Wisdom Caught, which is good. So I can actually now Encore Regieleki and lock them into Reflect. So we're going to Ashel Barrage the field and Encore Regieleki locking them into using Reflect every turn for the next couple turns. Virtually making Regieleki useless. But I could have got free damage off last turn if I just attacked. Oh, Regilecki goes down anyways to Ashel Barrage. And now I have the Grim Knight. I should have just attacked last turn with uh, Calyrex. Is the Behemoth Blade go into where? Into the Cotton? Yes, okay. So they used two turns to take out Wisdom Cotton. I should have just attacked last turn with Calyrex. But I didn't want to get hit by Electroweb or the Electric Cage, I think it uses. So I'm going to bring in Tapu Lili here. I'm going to get another Grim Nye boost uh, when I take out Zash in this turn. Oh, there's Urshifu. And that looks like Single Strike Urshifu. So, I don't think Urshifu learns Bullet Punch. Yeah, so I'll get to take that out, and then I'm going to Moonblast into the Urshifu here. And it should just... Yeah, no Protects come out. The Tailwind's gonna give me the boosts I need to outspeed everything. That Oh my 
god, the power of Calyrex. I really want some team to prove me wrong in these lower tiers that Calyrex is not the best Pokemon to use. It's just constantly seem like, use Calyrex. Just, you bring Calyrex. Calyrex just wrecks everything. And what's the last Pokemon I have? Because it's not gonna... It's not gonna amount to anything. Moltres. Yeah, just brought their four legendary Pokemon. So, I'm going to... Throw up a substitute. I want to see what the Moltres does here. So, I'm going to throw up the substitute with Calyrex. Because... If they attack Calyrex, then... They're attacking Alex, but I expect a dark type move into Lee. Berserk triggers. Fiery Wrath goes into Oh, it hits both. Okay. Tapu Lili still survives. Yeah, so this was a Oh, now that I don't have that, that's gonna be interesting. I should have checked my Tailwind. I've just become very arrogant with Calyrex. Oh, Calyrex still outspeeds. Calyrex just outspeeds Moltres here. Okay. Moltres goes down. And that's a GG for us. What is that? 6 and 0 with this team? In one of the practice matches, I brought the wrong uh, Wisdom Caught. Found out I had Chlorophyll Wisdom caught. I want to just double check here. Oh, they're not EV trained Pokemon. Reggie Alecky was, and I. Okay, the Zashin isn't trained. The Urshifu looks half trained. I feel like a lot of people down here are just throwing Pokemon into a team. Okay, we're back up to rank 6. I'm burning through the ranks here. We're 6-0. I want to see a team actually beat me. I am not this good at Pokemon. Especially when I haven't done anything competitive for the last... Oh, what? Six to eight months, really? So, while I have you here, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't, if you're enjoying the content. And we'll get to our next battle here against Rupert, who's also using a Calyrex team. Very different Calyrex team. I think I have to lead mine with Wismcott. I want to bring in the back. I have Water Urshifu. I want to bring Entei because of Corviknight and Rillaboom. And. Uh, Urshifu is super effective against Calyrex, right? Psychic Ghost? Yeah, so I'm going to bring Urshifu as our last Pokemon. No, he doesn't actually have any Dark type moves. I have the Water one. Okay. So I'm actually going to bring Lili here. That might... It's the same thing. I've just been swapping around if I bring Entei or not. Urshifu has not had a time to shine yet. And I'd really like to show off Urshifu in a match. But here, this is gonna not even gonna show if Calyrex is one of the best Pokemon to you bring. This is just a Calyrex mirror match. Do they lead with their Calyrex? Oh, yep, they lead the exact same way I do. I get style points, I have a shiny. There won't be any berries being used here. I 
I'm going to just jam a National Barrage and Tailwind again. Kind of wanted just to do a double protect. So they would set up their Tailwind and my would Peter out a turn later, but I feel like I'll just be behind if I do it that way. The Wisdom Cop will be able to outspeed mine next turn for sure. Won't be a speed tie. Oh, they're putting a lot more thought into this. Okay, they withdraw their Calyrex into Incineroar. Okay. Intimidate comes out. Do the Intimidate doesn't bother my team here. Their Wisdom Caught uses Protect. So they went the route I was considering using. I get my Tailwind up. I can now lock their Wisdom Caught into uh, Protecting. So they can't get have speed control. Oh, they're gonna... I'm gonna fake out my Wisdom Caught this turn. The last guy didn't, though. I'm gonna set up a substitute expecting the fake out. And I'm gonna encore their Wisdom Caught and hope that I. that they go with the Darkest. Oh, they're gonna try Darkest Lair and Calyrex. I'm locking their Wisdom Caught into Protect. Darkest Lariat comes out. Hits up my substitute. Now I'm free to double into the Incineroar. And I hope I have enough staying power here to take out Incineroar. This one seems. Oh, this must be Assault Vest Incineroar with the damage it took from that first Astral Barrage. Wisdom Caught reali realizing it's useless gets swapped out for Primarina. What does it have? Liquid Voice? Well, that means I know all four. They didn't bring either of their uh, weak to fire types. Now, can the Cotton Ball do it? Show me how good you are. Not good enough. I'm going to lose uh, Calyrex here. Maybe, uh, now I know next time to wait a full other turn before I do that. Do I have any other spread moves? Oh, it wasn't an Assault Vest. Just a very specially defensive Incineroar. Okay, uh, Tapu Lili isn't good here. I'm gonna bring in Entei. I'm gonna bring Entei in for this. have an idea here. I'm gonna Stomping Tantrum into Incineroar and Moonblast is effective against Primarina so if I can get a special attack drop if I'm remembering Moonblast right I should be okay here I also have the Assault Vest on Entei, so... Oh, I got the Special Attack drop. Stomping Trantrum comes out and should, should take out Incineroar. Incineroar goes down. Water Hyper Voice does not take out Entei. And it was a crit. I lose my Tailwind advantage. Sending back out their Wisdom Caught. So I'm going to swap. I'm going to keep Entei. I'm going to... Which power does Extreme Peace Speed have? 80? Kind of want a Stone Edge. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit while setting up Tailwind. I'm assuming they're gonna set their Tailwind up this turn. Oh, sped mine, wow. Must be a speed tie. I'm 
I hit with stop. Oh, Stone Edge didn't take out Prime. Oh no. Okay. I think this is going to be the first match we lose here. A lot of this was my playing, though. I really thought I'd take out Primarina with Stone Edge. Now I'm gonna try... I wish I had a spread move. I really wish I had a spread move right now. Guess if I Shadow Ball the Prime Spot and Encore the Wisdom Caught, we should be okay. I go first. Oh no, Psychic Train blocks it! Oh no! Oh, and I got the—they got the special attack drop on me. Oh man, that this is my bad. Oh no! I didn't realize that Encore gets stopped by the psychic terrain. Oh man, okay. Hmm. Does Lily outspeed Calyrex under Tailwind? Uh, I can check this myself. Two twenty-two. Okay, I'm gonna get out sped here. This is gonna be tight. This is going to be tight. Very, very tight here. Calyrex out speeds. I have the special defense boost from the psychic seeds. Nope, just a clean double knockout. Oh, I got the crit on Tapu Lili. I'm really interested to see if I survive that. And yeah, we got wrecked in this one. Good job, Rupert. Broke my six game win streak. I told, completely outplayed me there. So I'll be back with the. Uh, next battle all right and we're back here with a battle against giuseppe they have an it's another zashin team this one's using support crowbat mimikyu is going to be annoying mimikyu is always annoying though another incineroar and dracovish tapu lili is really strong here and actually it's somewhat strong here that Crobat's a good uh, matchup for my Wisdom Caught. Okay. So, we're going to leak Calyrex Wisdom Caught because I feel like we're going to be fighting over speed control. Um, still don't know if the Water Urshifu is worth it here. I think it's really good against my team, but... Uh, do I want to bring Tapu Lili or Entei? Um, I want Tapu Lili. And... It's just close combat, surging strikes, and help they can and protect. Uh, I'm going to bring Urshifu here. I think I have an idea here to help make this matchup a little bit easier. Giuseppe, good luck. Mimikyu Crobat lead. Okay, that is not expected that Mimikyu is going to be annoying. Crobat's going to set Tailwind. Okay, I have an idea here. It's the exact same plan we always do. So I'm going to Astral Barrage to break Mimikyu's um, disguise ability. That's the thing. I'm expecting Swords Dance or Shadow Sneak into Calyrex. 
I don't know how much damage I'm going to do to Crobat, who I'm expecting to use Tailwind. I get it first because of Prankster. Calyrex then moves first. Crobat almost goes down, so I don't actually have to worry about uh, Encoring Crobat now. Crobat gets Tailwind off. The Nimic uses Trick Room. No, Shadow Claw into Calyrex. Takes. Whoa! Mimic you! Okay. There's counters for Calyrex in the, uh, on the board now. Okay. So now we're going to send in Urshifu. This will be something. I'm going to Surging Strikes into Mimikyu. Encore the Crobat to lock it into Tailwind this turn. Maybe, I, oh no, oh man. I just thought of Play Rough. I should have uh, Encored the Mimikyu. Play Rough into Urshifu is going to hurt if I don't take down Mimikyu here. I hope Urshifu is fast enough. Under Tailwind. Well, it's tied Tailwind, so it's equal footing here. And that Crobat surviving with uh, that little bit there. That's cool. I like seeing Crobat. Oh, Crobat comes back. That's going to waste my Wisdom Caught. Gorilla Boom. It's not okay. Okay. I need Urshifu to move first here. I really hope the Mystic Water... Oh, how many is it going to hit? I need three. I need three. Yes. Okay. Three did it. Seeing some good players now that I'm in Pokeball tier. I'm really enjoying that. It's not just one-sided with Calyrex. Here comes Ashen. Who I don't really have a counter for now that I've lost uh, Calyrex. Um, I'm going to protect Urshifu. And... Moonblast into Rillaboom. I don't know if that's actually going to be helpful this turn. Hmm. I might have maneuvered us into a really big losing position here. I got... I was too uh, cocky with... Uh, Calyrex to be able to see the bigger picture of things. Okay, that protect worked really well. Moonblast goes into Rill and does a quarter, just a third of damn, a third of its health. Still be a four hit KO. Uh. Well, it move. It hits three times in a row. I'm gonna try hitting Zashin. I'm gonna swap Wisdom Caught out for Tapu Lili to get rid of the grassy terrain and set up the psychic terrain and get a the special defense boost. Does not look like it's gonna actually help against in this matchup here. Especially, yeah, it's Crobat at the back with next to no HP. Oh, Giuseppe draws that. Okay, I'm going to be taking Crobat out. I'm okay with that. I get to take out Crobat. 
I'm gonna get Tapu Lili in for free. And then... Rillaboom loses his grassy terrain. He won't be able to reset grassy terrain because of that swap. Which was the other thing I was very much worried about. And yeah. Hopefully uh, this will work out in our favor here. Rillaboom's grassy glide does not take out Urshifu. Tailwind's Peter out. I can still reset. Set it. I don't think resetting it needs to be a... Maybe it should be a priority. Protect Lily. Swap. Yeah, I'm going to swap Urshifu out. Get Wisdom Caught out. They'd have to double into that while being worried about Lily here. So I'm going to protect Tapu Lily. Get Wisdom Caught back out. Set the Tailwind again. Outspeed both of them. And hopefully be able to maneuver through Zash and Rillaboom. I think I really need a, a helping hand to take out Zash in. They'll have to. If they double into Wisdom Caught, my plan fails. And I'm back where I'm starting without one lot more Pokemon in the back. But I really want to try to get that Tailwind up before I go for the Helping Hand. Tapu Lili protects. The Emeth Blade comes out. It goes in. Oh, it's going to go into Wisdom Caught. Why double into the Urshifu slot? You don't double into the Urshifu, Ur Urshifu slot. Oh, they didn't. Okay. I'm going to get Tailwind up, which is what I needed, and then which move is the strongest? Shadow Ball by the looks of it, but I'm going to try to take out Rillaboom here. Leave Tapu Lili, leave Zashid, I'm going to try to, I, th I might be able to one shot knock out Rillaboom. And then, uh, hopefully Urshifu can clean up under Tailwind. Uh, yeah, Tailwind's back on my side. Psy Shock, I'm begging you, please. Not enough, even under Psychic Terrain. Okay. That's gonna one shot Tapu Lili. Yeah. Good game. I got no I can't come back from this. There is no way I can come back from this now. Rillaboom takes out Wisdom Caught. Yep. Alright, so that's gonna end uh, today's video. I'm just gonna run from the battle here. So we'll send out Urshifu. I'm going to try Surging Strikes just to see how much damage it does to Zashin so I can get that bound of uh, information done. But, um, yeah, so that's going to end today's video. Uh, if you like the content you're seeing, please subscribe. Remember to leave a like. Comment what uh, theme teams, other VGC uh, Pokemon you might want to uh, see me use. Let me know any restricted Pokemon you'd really like to see me try to put uh, together a team for. And I can see if I can make it work. Um, hopefully, uh, I have, should have another video up uh, tomorrow.